Hello one and all, my name is Mark. Today we're going to be creating a nice little gift for a long time friend of mine. I've known her for about six years. We don't necessarily live in the same state right now. However, our friendship still holds strong and I wouldn't be creating this without you. We're gonna be using this Howlite right here. She said she wants it specifically in a vertical manner. I'm gonna try to keep that in mind as I go along in this process. So. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I can't wait to see what happens. Let's do it. I've made a ring like this before. I'm gonna have a couple of them off to the side so that way I have them as inspiration for the one that I'm making now. My friend specifically wanted me to use a tarnish resistant wire. So right here I have an artistic wire that is a 24 gauge brass. I'm going to use this as the outer layer of my ring. And the inside of this ring, or the bare meat, is going to come from this 16 gauge brass wire, which is also tarnish resistant. So I take two strands of this wire, the same length preferably, around 11 inches. I want more wire than I want less. Typically, I cut off the excess wire and use that in other projects or commissions. And then after we have the desired length, we take our smaller gauge wire, the 24 that I had presented earlier, and we're going to start wrapping it around. And right here I start wrapping it once around both of them so I can get stability exactly what you want in a good relationship and after that I wrap it twice on the inside and I make a pattern of this as I move my way up the wire so right here you can get a better view of the pattern forming two on the outside two on the inside and we're gonna keep with this as we continue forward Be mindful that you want to keep your wires straight and your weave tight during this process. To help me do so, I use needle nose and nylon pliers. So I want this ring to be at around seven and a half. I stop my weave at around two and a quarters inch. I take what you call a mandrel and start forming my ring around this. As I wrap the wires around the mandrel, I push the opposites around each other. I wanna make sure I keep this tight, so I just keep pulling as I work. Here you can get a better view of the entire design. With the excess 24 gauge wire that I started with this entire weave, I'm going to take the four thickest gauge wires and start to weave those together. I don't do any special weave, I just wrap the wire around all four together, tightly. Once I finished wrapping those together, I laid my mineral on the bed to make sure that it's going to fit properly and securely. Here you can see the back side of it. Now I push the opposing wires outward so that way it stays tight as I work. So that way it's locked in to that size. And I still have a little bit more wire so I'm going to take this 24 gauge and wrap it around one of the whiskered wires. And for this distance I want to make sure I have more wire than I have a little wire. I want to make sure that there's enough to wrap around the entire mineral. 
then I clip that off. And for the other side, I want to have another wrapped piece. So I'm just going to work from the whole spool this time and just cut it off at the appropriate desired length. And once we've cut the desired length of wire, we want to do the finagly part. Now, my friend wants to have this mineral presented vertically on her finger. And right here you see me trying to lay it on the bed as such. And I wrap the wires around this little specimen, one at a time. And after I've secured the Howlite onto the ring, I want to take those extra wires and wrap it around inside and then loop it around and cut it off. Make a nice little design on the side to look at. And there you have it, my little ring for my friend. Made with tarnish resistant wire, she specifically wanted to make sure that it didn't wear over time because she was gonna be wearing this for a very long time or uh, at least until it broke or maybe until it gets lost. Who knows? Now this little guy took about maybe an hour altogether. Every other ring that I make takes a different amount of time. Right now, I'm not really open for commissions. However, you can check out the things that I have made or things that I do currently make. Prolific Art Studio is the Instagram. You can find it right here in this little link up top or you can find it in the description down below. If you wanna see more of this content or have any ideas of what you wanna see next, please, Leave it in a comment down below. I do need ideas and I would love to see what y'all want me to create. All right, and I'm headed to go mail this out. Everybody, please stay safe and stay creative. You want me to shoot it? I'll shoot it, I'll shoot it.